Good morning, all of you. Uh, let's uh, start with fifth unit. And, uh, Good morning. Uh, title for our fifth unit is the robotics. Now, uh, this is kind of what we can say the second remaining half of this subject. Uh, already uh, more than seventy percent. Syllabus we have covered, and uh, in that uh, syllabus, mostly uh, we have studied the things related with the artificial intelligence. And here in the remaining part, uh, we are going to uh, study about the robotics or the robot. Now, oh, and uh, in the previous contents that we have studied, like in the unit one, two, three, four. now all in that all units we have uh, discussed the things like how we can make the robot intelligent how we can make the robot intelligent related with that different things we have studied different algorithms we have studied uh, related with, uh, also the kind of networks that we can utilize that also we have studied various kind of applications we have studied okay now in the remaining part that we have that we have for the study that consist of the uh, uh, related with the uh, designing of this particular robot okay what that uh, you can consider it as a uh, construction of the robots physically okay and making that robot intelligent what has to be done that already we have studied in the previous contents so remaining part the things like uh, designing of the robot okay uh, it's a kind of a, a hardware required for the robots designing and the role of different kind of hardwares uh, kind of different sensors that will required for the robots okay different branch involved in the development of the robot various kind of applications of the robot in different areas and the different field this kind of things we are having in the remaining part like in the unit 5th and the 6th okay and uh, so today we are starting with our uh, unit 5th uh, and uh, its uh, title say the robotics and in the today's session we'll uh, discuss about the definition and introductory point regarding the robotics its history some uses and the application these points we'll try to cover so let's start with the uh definition of the robotics and uh, if i ask you how you can describe the robotics uh, so let the answer come from you first according to the whatever your background knowledge and then we'll uh, go with the actual definition so what do you want to say regarding the robotics what is your idea yes final uh sir i think robotics means uh, it's a artificial brain uh, artificial brain with uh, we can say it's a human uh, means human with a artificial brain so you want to say it's a human with the artificial brain okay yes anybody it's... else hmm others शंतनु साइबाज रिगार्डिंग रोबोटिक्स इट इज अम्बिनेशन ऑफ मेकनिकल इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइस जस्ट लाइक वी हेव दब्जेक्ट लाइक मैथमेटिक्स वेर वी स्टडी द 
things related with the math calculation etc so robotics is also the same it is nothing but the related with the construction of the robots okay construction of the robots and uh, you know to construct the robots it is not just the work of single field or it just not uh, require the knowledge of single field of engineering it is the combination of different kind of engineering branches and the field uh, to make the robots and similarly the definition you can see here robotics is an interdisciplinary branch of engineering and science that includes the mechanical electrical electronics computer science and engineering and the others interdisciplinary in the sense it is the you know to uh, robotics is considered to be what it is the uh what we can say the combination of interrelated branch interrelated branch in the sense branches like the mechanical engineering electronics and electrical computer science and engineering this different with the combination of with the knowledge from this different field the robotics is being formed uh the branch of the robot the particular field robotics is being formed and it is also being considered as a field of the artificial intelligence also so by utilizing all knowledge from all these branches or uh, all these fields the robot is built and that whole process of building the robot with the help of these different branches of engineering is called as what the robotics okay so if you see in the robotics it is nothing but the task of building the robot if we, if i ask you the what is then what can be the work of this field what can be the work of this field what can be the work work of this field so can you able to tell me what is the role of the mechanical engineer in the robotics yes what is the role of electronics and electrical engineer in the robotics what is the role of computer it engineers in the robotics yes Mool. yes sir a uh, mechanical uh, makes the body parts of the robots uh, the means that metallic body whereas the electronic people uh, try to ma uh, make the machine work and computer people uh, give the instructions provide the in instru instructions to the robotics mm -hmm. okay quite good yes anybody want to say anything okay so you are quite related like you can see the mechanical engineer uh, related with the building the physical uh, structure or the model of that particular robot like uh, it also consists of the designing the robot okay uh, as well as uh, 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 what you can say installing and fitting the all the hardware related parts like you can say the sensors and other uh, kind of devices okay so that uh, part is the what what you can say the role of the mechanical engineer here okay and uh, if you come to the electronics then the things related with that uh, ic circuits okay these things development of all that kind of circuits and their connections and uh, uh, what we can other kind of ic chips so uh, building that kind of things is nothing but the work of the electronics uh, engineers okay and uh, you know to make that robot uh, uh, in the workable condition okay and to control that robot then there comes our field that is the computer science and engineering which consists of doing the programming uh, so that that robot can follow the instruction given by the uh, the owner of that robot or instruction given by the user so doing the programming according to that that is doing the work of the Uh, this uh, computer science and engineering too so from uh, all these things the robotics is being uh, formed and this uh, this uh, using the knowledge of uh, field of this all this engineering and making the robot that is nothing but our uh, what we can say the robotics field okay so from this we can say the robotics deals with the designing construction operation and building and use of the robot as well as computer systems for their control and to get the feedback from that robot as well as the information processing this uh, this is the task of the computer science and engineers uh, engineering in this uh, robotics so this is nothing but the basic uh, definition of what we can say related with the 
robotics and from this discussion uh, we can say this all above mentioned technologies and the branches are using developing the machines or the robots and which can substitute the human which can do the activity just like the human being and that's why here i have mentioned above mentioned technologies are used to develop these machines uh, that can substitute the human and replicate the human being that can substitute the human and replicate the human being in the same using all these branches of the engineering we are trying to make the robot and that robot should be able to do the activity just like the human beings are doing their daily activity in different kind of work okay and uh, these robots uh, when we make the robots you must have also seen the different kind of robots okay and we can make the robots uh, in any form okay but the most preferable form uh, in which the robots are being made uh that is nothing but the robot like the human being understood just like the human being look like human being so is having the two legs two hands and other organs in the similar way uh the robots are being made okay uh, robots is being made in the appearance and that is the reason you must have seen the most of the robots uh if you see they just look like the uh the way human being look like okay and uh, there is also the reason behind that also the robots uh, most preferable shape and uh, shape and size and form of the robot is being made just like the human being there are also the reason behind that and i would like to know from you why the robots is given the shape like the human being as you know the robots are being present in the different form but most preferable form of the robot uh is like it should look like the human being why it is so yes why robots are being designed and uh, look like uh, designing and made to look like just uh, the just like the human being in appearance why this is so do you got the question yes sir yes why this is so so they can work like human being they can work like human being that's why the uh, is to shape size and its looking appearance is just like the human being. Okay, that is you want to say yes. Other. What can be the other reasons? Hmm. What can be the other reasons? Kishor Nagri. Yes. What can be the other reason so that uh, because of the robots are being made to look like the human being? Penal. Hmm. no reasons behind that sir maybe to find maybe out ki uh, ki wo human ki tarah kaam kar sakta hai ya nahi uh, matlab wo kaisa kaam karta hai shayad uske liye hmm okay other ha ah, yes so oh, human ne sir human sarka robot banavla to tyacha madhe changes karna sopo hai karan ki human la maiti human ka sa act karto कसा बिहेव करतो त्याची ऍक्टिंग किंवा त्याचा परफॉर्मन्स त्याचा वर्क मग त्याच्यामध्ये चेंजेस करणं किंवा मॉडिफाय करणं इझी होईल म्हणून तो ह्युमन सारखा शेप असतो ओके नाउ लेट मी गिव द एग्जांपल नाउ देयर आर वेरी दिस इज द फॅक्टरी दिस इज द फॅक्टरी इन दिस फॅक्टरी लॉट ऑफ पीपल्स आर वर्किंग एंड ओके एंड इन दिस फॅक्टरी आल्सो 
I made one robot and I give that robot I give that robot the shape of demon I give that robot the shape and size and looking appearance of wampus or demon means the demon in the sense rakshas and i put that robot in the working area of human being actually that is not the demon but it look like the demon or it look like the wampus then will you be comfortable to work with that no but if i instead of demon shape and size i give the shape of the human being then you will be the comfortable to work with him yes 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 you are getting what i am trying to say so yes to accept the uh, uh, you know the you know the nature of the human being is quite different if somebody who is looking different from that human being comes uh, in the working environment of the human or comes in the partnership of the partnership of that human or comes in the companion of that human then human feel the uncomfortable to work with that person or anybody yes or no it is a human being nature and that is the reason the looking appearance that is being given to the robot is just like the human being so that in the community of the human being the robot can be get accepted understood now even to that human being looking appearance robot even to that uh, kind of robots also today there is a most of the people are not uh, prefer to utilize the robot in the working industry and in the home also because uh, people are the people uh, even today also don't trust uh, the robots uh, as compared with the way people trust the human being because uh, even it is being made look like the human being it is being made biologically just like the human being uh, the way biological things uh, perform activity in the human being robots are also made in that way but still it is a machine understood so uh, that is the reason still human beings should not 100% trust on that kind of entity as a robot okay so it will take the time the way the performance of the robot will increase so this is uh, the looking appearance given to the robot that is just to help uh, uh, for the acceptation for the acceptance of robot in certain replicative behavior easily performed by the human being okay so uh, you can see the you must have seen the most of the robots now performing the activity like the human being that uh, robots are replicating the activity like the walking lifting speech recognition and different kind of activity human can do now just like the human being okay because uh, the human uh, the robot most of the today's robots are being made uh, by taking the inspiration from the nature and taking the inspiration from the biological neural network which works in case of the human being by taking the inspiration from that uh, by taking the reference of that the robots are being made so that we can get the same experience that we are getting from the natural human being understood the way natural human being walks lives the way natural human being thinks take the decision do the prediction perform different kind of activity so by taking the inspiration from the natural human being the robots are being made okay and uh, so uh, if you uh, see uh, the this concept of creating the machine uh, just like the human being the concept of creating the machine just like the human being it is a old concept okay from the 1940 1950 this concept was there okay but uh, research uh, in this kind of uh, technology research in this kind of technology and uh, potential utilization of this kind of technology as a robot uh, started in the 19th and 20th century and that is the reason today we can see there is a huge boom in the market related with such kind of robots as a machinery who can do the activity like the human being and that is the reason there are the most of the new machine learning algorithms are also coming which can uh, try to make the performance of this robot more accurate just like the human being so what i want to say it is not the new technology it is the old technology but 
actual research on that and actual utilization of its functionality etc etc that started uh, earlier in the 19th and the 20th century okay so from above all this discussion we can uh, say robotics is the branch of engineering which consists of the different branches so that's why the single word being utilized here is robotics is the branch of engineering that involves or that consists of the conception designing manufacturing and operation of the robot conception means what do the research conception in the sense doing the research doing the research for what purpose how we can make the robot just like the human being for that deep research is required so that's why that is the reason here it is mentioned robotics the branch of engineering that involves conception doing the research thinking imagination then designing and then actual manufacturing and then the operating that robot this whole thing is just being referred as all the robotics understood conception understood the meaning of the conception yes conception yes, means doing the research imagination relatedly what how the human beings are doing all these things and from that trying to design the robot okay yes sir so if you want to go to the other introductory part uh, related with the who has uh, uh, first utilized this term uh, which term the robotic uh, so if you want to go into the history then there is a one science fiction in the one particular science fiction the scientist uh one one science fiction not the he was not the scientist okay science fiction author isaac asimov uh science fiction means what can you maybe tell me the science fiction meaning hmm? now uh, in the okay you must have read the story in our life story okay how do you have the habit to read the story yes sir okay tumhi shaalemadhe astana ki va ata sudha tumhi story vachat astal goshti vachat astal goshti ya kasha astat stories are imaginary yes or no yes sir so isaac am asimo he was also the story writer but he was a science fiction story writer meaning of the fiction is what imaginary imaginary okay science fiction means story related with the science imaginary story related with the science so isaac asimo was the science fiction story writer and uh, in in his story in his science fiction story he has utilized this term robotics what in his science fiction stories he has utilized the term robotics then in the 1940s and that is the reason credit goes to the isaac asimov for uh, describing or for invention of this term robotics okay and in this story uh, asimov Isaac Asimov has suggested three principles related with the behavior of the robot and the smart machine. Okay, in this fiction story, he has he has uh, described these three principles related with what? Related with the behavior of the robot and the smart machine. And on that three principles, nowadays robots are being made and robots are being operating. In this modern world. Okay, so from the science fiction story, the reference is being taken related with the behavior of the robot. Okay, now if we let's see what that three laws of the robot, robotics, or what are that three principles who were uh, which were uh, invented by the Isaac Asimov in the 1940s. So these are the three laws of the robotics or three principles of the robotics. by keeping in mind these principles the robots are being made nowadays and they are being made uh, in the operating condition so which are that three principle in that first principle our the first rule also you can say that is the first rule he has mentioned in story 
that robot must not never harm the human being what the robot must not harm the human being okay the robot must not uh, what we can say uh, must not be other uh, kill the human being or he, he, the robot must not uh, uh, do the injury to the human being etc etc so that is his first law okay what we have mentioned in the second law robot robot must follow the instruction from the human without violating the rule one now tell me the meaning of this robot must follow the instruction from the human without violating the rule one means whatever the instruction that is being given by the human being suppose if the human being says keep that particular keep that uh, take that particular uh, bucket which is being filled with the water and keep take that bucket of water and uh, put it in the bathroom so robot should follow that instruction understood without violating the rule one means the robot without should, harming human being without harming the human being understood it should not happen like uh, he, he will take that uh, bucket of water and pour it pour it on the human being understood it should not happen uh, this kind of thing should not happen or he will take that bucket of water and he will put that in the terrace so this kind of thing should not happen if the robot must follow the instruction that is given by the human being so that is the second law and in the third law he has mentioned the robot robot must protect themselves without violating the other rules manje kay robot ne tanchi sota ke sudha kay the robot should protect themselves and sota ke sudha suraksha keli pahije but when they are protecting themselves they should not harm the human being understood so these are the three principles being mentioned by the isaac asimov who who are being uh, called as a uh, who who has been given the credit of finding the uh, word robotics understood this part yes, yes sir and on this principles only the today's robotics are being working okay now let's see the more parts related to the history so uh, this uh, also the another scientist now before the isaac asimov there was also the another uh, uh, what you can say the play writer was there okay play writer means what play writer natak likhne wala natak likhne wala drama likhne wala okay so the word robotics the word robotics was actually taken from the word robot and uh, in the 1920 the public play writer the carol capet in his uh, play name of the play was rossium universal robot in his play he has first mentioned the word robot okay in his play in the 1920 he has first mentioned the word robot and now actually this word robot this is a slavic word okay it's a slavic word understood slavic kind of is a slavic is the kind of language okay so the word robot from from the uh, slavic it is like the slavic word and its meaning in the english its meaning in the english is the robota this is a very important thing meaning of that word which is this word robot actually is the slavic word okay and its meaning in the english is what robota and if you try to search the meaning of the word robota its meaning is nothing but the labor or work what is the meaning of that robot slavic word meaning is what robota and meaning of the robota is what labor now what do you mean by the labor what the labor does workers वर्कर्स म्हणजे आपण जे आता तुम्ही जे आपण काम त्यांना सांगतो तेच काम ते करतात यू आर गेटिंग माय पॉइंट दे आर नॉट डूइंग द वर्क वर्क बाय देयर ओन व्हाट एव्हर वर्क यू टेल देम दे डू द सेम काइंड ऑफ वर्क दे फॉलो द सेम इंस्ट्रक्शन गिवन बाय द ओनर सॉरी सॉरी जस्ट आई मेड योर मिस्टेक द रॅबोटा इज द स्लाइविक वर्ड ओके रॅबोटा इज द स्लाइविक वर्ड एंड फ्रॉम दैट स्लाइविक वर्ड the this robot word is being taken and 
इस मुने भी मैं तो इस मुने रिमेनिंग ऑफ दैट रैबोटाइज व्हाट लेबर और द वर्कर ओके दिस फॉलो द इंस्ट्रक्शन गिवन बाय द ह्यूमन बीइंग दिस डोंट डू द वर्क अपार्ट फ्रॉम द ह्यूमन बीइंग बट बट नाउ डेज इफ यू सी द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड रोबोट दे आर बिकॉज ऑफ द रिसर्च कैपेबिलिटी ऑफ द ह्यूमन बीइंग नाउ यू कैन सी द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड रोबोट दे आर डूइंग द वर्क दे आर डूइंग द वर्क apart from the instruction given by the human being also that is happening because of what that is happening because of the lot of research happening in the world of the machine learning where the machine machine is uh, acquiring the lot of other capabilities just like the human being machine learning the different things by their own with the help of the historical data with the help of the previous experience and nowadays the modern robot are doing the most of the activity even instruction are not given to that robot also okay so this is the historical point you just have to keep in mind the word robot is being taken from the slavic word rabota and meaning of that is nothing but labor and the work okay so uh, if you go for some of the uses and the application related with the robots in the nowadays uh, you must have observe you must have heard you must have experience in various kind of situations in various kind of situations nowadays the robots are being utilized in various kind of dangerous environment like the bomb detection and the deactivation also the robots are being utilized now why it can be a beneficial to utilize the robots in the bomb detection and the deactivation yes why it can be a beneficial to utilize the robots in the dangerous environment there, like the bomb detection and the deactivation because there will be no human harm to no human ha life yes, harm yes because whenever uh, you go for the bomb detection and the deactivation there is always a risk to the life of the human but robots are not the human okay there is a uh, we do we can't have the human loss here even that robot will damage that's true that is the reason mostly the uh, the preference is given to the robots for the bomb detection and the deactivation you also know the number in various manufacturing industry uh, now to manufacture the different things in the manufacturing process robots are being utilized if you, if you just go to the youtube and if you just uh, type here uh, robots who are assembling the car then you can see how the robots are connecting the different parts of the car okay also robots are being utilized uh, in the different situation where human cannot go where there is a danger to the life of the human okay so here i have mentioned the many robots are built to do the job that are dangerous or hazardous to the people such as the defusing or the deactivating the bomb finding the survivors in the unstable situation or the area what finding the survivors in the unstable situation or the area so suppose some here Uh, earthquake has happened bhukamp kun tari dalela hai in the large building huge building tall building now in in that case uh, it is necessary to find out is there any human being who are live who are live there alive there uh, in that case uh, other human being cannot go can also go and find out but there is a danger to the life of that uh, human being understood so in the in that particular case Uh, the in that particular situation or the area where there is a danger to the life of the human being uh, the robots can be utilized to find the other survivors in that particular accidental area also in the exploring the mines and the ship wreck this is important exploring the mines and the ship wreck means what exploring the mines and the ship wrecks in port mines means khani ke khani asal baka koisa cha mana ata hai ki other other uh, 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 apan tela ka manto other uh, material tyacha ja khani asal tita te barobar na ki tyacha madhe jaun human being te tita khod kaam karne kiwa other work so in case of that in case of that also there is a danger to the life of the human being uh, in case of that lot of accident has happened okay so in that case ki tya kolsha cha khani madhe te 
खोद काम करने की मत्या काम आसान थी सुधार देरी दी इटलाइजेशन ऑफ़ द रोबोट शिप रेक्स शिप रेक्स में सॉर्ट शिप शिप इट इस अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ़ टू वर्ड शिप एंड द रेक्स शिप जहाज आस्था तो वाका मोट मोटे जहाज है तर एकादर जहाज से होता कि जहाज जैसे एक्सीडेंट जाने की तो परी समुद्र now in that case, uh, human being cannot go and out. what is the one damage happened to that uh, ship? Okay, what uh, fault happened in that ship? Also to find out is there any live persons are available? If only given to it, it is a I think I have ship mode accident that I can water on a So in that case, also there is a utilization of the robot instead of the human beings because uh, doing uh, doing activity in all this area is always considered to be the dangerous to the life of the human being so in that case there is a utilization of the robot can be done in the better way okay so these are the very much uh, okay so here we are discussing the some uses okay here we have discussed the finding the survivors in the unstable situation or the area exploring the mine and finding the any survivors in the accidental ship trying to repair the accidental ship which all the things can be easily done by the robot so from this what we can say robot is also used in the other field also like stem stem stands for the robot can also utilize in the science technology engineering and mathematics as a teaching aid teaching aid means what means now okay. also the just like the teacher robots are also available in the market who can teach the students understood so these kind of things are uh, uh, these kind of uses are available uh, regarding the robots nowadays and still uh, their accuracy is not 100 percent but uh, quite good and uh, the way the new technology will come new algorithms will get developed the accuracy will also get improved if we go to some other main utilization, like uh, some of which already were discussed, helping the fight for a fire. Okay, there could have been a lag last of the building of the teacher, there could be two given to it, just a lot of the perfect find out for me and then can now watch on it. This is also the one of the good application of the robot. Then working along with the robots in manufacturing uh, plants. Robot can the robot can also work as a companion to the elderly individuals. Companion means what? Companion to the elderly individuals. What is this? Why would the manasas that baka matari चन्ना गप्पा मारने सटी वो बोल रहा हूँ ना चन्ना गप्पा मारने सटी तंचे और कोई नहीं था तो तुम जरूर बोलिए तो चन्ना आज एक अपन क्या मानते हो कि चन्ना पार्टनर बनो ओके तंचे वो लोग गप्पा मारने सटी सुना ना वो लोग रेबू कंपनी देख रहे हैं मीनिंग ऑफ़ द कंपेनियनशिप में जो काइस सरकारी इन Getting this application? Yes, sir. Okay, ki the way you the locust of Matari Master and Tori Kapaman setting out for that also the robots are being made. Okay, as a companion to the elderly individual. Then most of the most important application is the surgical assistant. Doing the various kind of medical surgeries also there is utilization of the robot. Now in the previous only I I have heard about the in the China. One uh, operation related with the cancer is being done with the help of the robot. Now, doing the surgeries and the operation related with the cancer, it is very complicated thing. Okay. Uh, where now all the robots can also be utilized to do these kind of surgeries. Okay. Then it can be also applicable or utilized for the package and the food order delivery. Okay, food delivery services it can be utilized. Then uh, it can be utilized for the household purposes like uh, vaccinating and the mowing the grass. What do you mean by the vaccinating and the mowing the grass? Yes. 
vaccining and mowing the grass hmm you must be knowing about what do you mean by the grass yes what is grass गवत सर कारण ते गवत दिवसेंदिवस काय होत वाढत जात मोठमोठ होत असत बरोबर तर त्याची काय एक पर्टिक्युलर लेवल ला ते कट करावं लागत अंडरस्टूड तर त्याच्यासाठी तो गार्डनर असतो तर ते करण्यासाठी सुद्धा रोबोट कॅन बी युटिलाइज अंडरस्टूड ते एक गवत एक योग्य शेप मध्ये किंवा टू कट दॅट ग्रास इन द राईट शेप अँड द साईज ओके अँड टू कीप टू टेक केअर ऑफ ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ गार्डनिंग दॅट इज कॉल्ड एज दॅक्युमिंग अँड द मोविंग द ग्रास सो फॉर दॅट हाऊस होल्ड पर्पोज ऑल्सो ओर इन द गार्डन ऑल्सो द रोबोट इज बी युटिलाइज ओके also uh, yeah, robots in utilizing the industries and the workshop to find out the different items and carry that items from one place to the another place also to find uh, also the robots being utilized in the search and the rescue operations okay search and the rescue operations also the robots are being utilized if you have, if you know if you are knowing about the uh, bomb attack that was happen in the world trade center america okay you must be knowing about this world trade center was damaged by the terrorist uh, that was osama bin laden now it was the very huge and tall building was their world trade center that was damaged by terrorist now you know to find if there are some alive persons are there inside in that building after the accident there was a utilization of the robot so search and the rescue operation in the search and the rescue missions uh, in the natural disaster or in the some kind of bomb attack uh, in that case also the robots are being utilized and uh, lastly it already we have discussed detecting the land mines just land mines you must be knowing land mines ki the bomb zameen mein purun thevla asta tyachavar pay thevla tithe they get uh, explode and the blast, blast hota ki तर ते ते डिक्रेट करण्यासाठी सुद्धा देर इज युटिलायझेशन ऑफ द रोबोट सो देर आर दोरियस ऑर्डर एप्लिकेशन ऑफ रोबोट आर अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट अँड रोबोट एज आय सेड द रोबोट आर बी मोस्टली युटिलाइज टू डू द वर्क वेअर ह्युमन वेअर द देर इज अ डेंजर टू द लाईफ ऑफ द ह्युमन बी हाव इन द प्रिवियस इयर ओनली अवर सायंटिस्ट अवर सायंटिस्ट हॅज डन वन ऑपरेशन Uh, that was the chandrayaan 2 okay the chandrayaan 2 that operation was done by our scientists which was uh, not successful but they that they have done the good try now in the chandrayaan 2 uh, we have utilized the uh, one particular uh, what we can say the rover what rover rover is also the another other another name for the robot we can utilize okay and the name of that rover or the robot was the pragyan you must be knowing about this pragyan robot we have utilized yes. there okay and that pragyan robot was inside the lander and the name of that lander was a vikram lander the name of this lander is given from the great scientist dr vikram sarabhai okay so inside this vikram lander there was a robot which was named as a pragyan and what task was assigned to this pragyan robot task which was assigned to this pragyan robot was when he when this vikram lander will land on the chandra on the moon that time that pragyan robot has to be come outside and do the research on the moon okay so this is just i am telling you for your general knowledge so in the chandrayaan 2 mission also there was a utilization of the pragyan robot where task assigned to that pragyan robot was when that when that lander will land on the moon 
that uh, robot has to be come outside and do the research in that particular area okay so in this different uh, way in the different area the robot applications are available okay so that's it from the today's session that is the uh, on which the question we asked number of times write a note on the robotics note on the application of the robotics etc etc Uh, laws of the robotics. This kind of various question we ask number of times. Okay, so remaining part we will continue in the next session. Okay. Okay. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. So remaining part we will continue in, uh, next time. Uh, thank you, Alasan. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.